Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back then Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. It is that lovely time of the year again. The spring Sephora sale 2022 is happening at the end of this week. And typically, I would sit down, do recommendations, tell you what I think you should buy, what's good. However, we are gonna flip the game around a little bit, okay? We're gonna do something different. Now, I know someone is going to feel a sizzle in their spirit. And that's okay because a hit dog always hollers. I'm not giving you my recommendations this go round, but what I am going to do is talk about three products you probably don't need to buy. And here's why, okay? The pandemic obviously has changed the game for everybody. A lot of people are still at home. A lot of people are still wearing masks. Skincare is the move, which skincare should have been the move anyway, because you gotta make sure you have good skin with makeup or without. But people just aren't buying makeup like that. Now for me, professionally, I'm still buying makeup. I'm buying makeup to try on myself, to tell you guys about, to use on my kit. Different ball game, but you guys know I am very, very mindful of the products that I buy. I talk about this all the time. Be mindful with your makeup purchases just simply because at the end of the year, when we go through our things, we have so much stuff, we have consumed so much stuff, and we end up wasting our money just simply because we never get through it all. My mission that I have been going through with myself personally is making sure that I am using all of my products. I've done my due diligence when it comes to making sure I'm knocking out my concealers. That's good. Foundations, that's a whole nother situation. But we're going to start with the number one thing that you probably don't need to buy, and that is foundation. Okay, hear me out. Listen, I know there's new foundations out right now. I know the Makeup Forever foundation is out. I know the NARS foundation is out. If you are going to pick between the two, go with Makeup Forever. That's just my personal opinion. However, I want you to take a good overhaul look at your foundation collection, okay? Where are you at? Do you have bottles that are mainly full? Do you have bottles that are halfway? If you look at your foundation collection and you've got bottles that are pretty much full, you haven't cracked the surface on them, sis, you probably don't need to buy a new foundation. I understand, you know, you wanna try something new and during the sale, it's a great time, but you're gonna end up wasting your money because I guarantee you ain't gonna use the whole bottle or you probably won't even crack the surface and get halfway through. So I feel foundation is one of those number one products that you're gonna be tempted to buy, but you probably don't need, okay? Okay, just, I, I, I know, I know, just, I'm just here to help, all right? The number two product, eyeshadow palettes. I don't know about you, but me personally, I just ain't really seen much in regards to eyeshadow palettes this year. Like, eyeshadows just ain't hitting on a, on a hill of beans. However, look at your eyeshadow collection. I'm willing to bet that you do not need another neutral eyeshadow palette. Am I right? If I'm right, in the comments, just leave me a thumbs up, knowing that you see me, you hear me, you understand. There are so many eyeshadow palettes available, okay? In my collection, I have so many. And when I look at my collection, I open things up. The majority of my palettes have not even hit pan, okay? Now we're just gonna more so focus on neutral tone palettes just simply because neutrals are what sell. That is why brands keep pushing them out because everyone likes neutrals, everyone can use neutrals. Whenever you go into the comments of Trend Mood, which is basically the shade room for makeup, but it's fine, we're here for it, we love it. Anytime she posts a brand eyeshadow palette and it's a neutral palette, Go look in the comments. Everyone's like, this is so boring. This is so boring. My question to those people is, what do you want at this point from makeup at 2022? It is not 2015 anymore. Um, modern Renaissance, that era has came and gone. What other color stories can you give us? What other finishes can you give us at this point? You can't, everything's pretty much done. So I said all of that to say, I bet you don't need another neutral eyeshadow palette. I'm just willing to bet you don't, all right? And then last but not least, the number three thing, and this thing right here, 
This is more so talking to me. This is a message that I need to hear and I probably, eh, I bet some of y'all need to hear it too. Lip products, okay? Amber, Amber P, darling, you sweet angel. How many brown lipstick shades do do you need? You like, do you, stop it. Just stop it. You don't need any more brown tone lip shades, okay? Lipstick, lip gloss, matte lips. Like we all have these things that our eyes are just drawn to. Me, I'm a brown tone neutral girl when it comes to the lips. If you go through my collection, you're going to find a lot of it. So whenever I'm out and about, if I'm in Sephora or Ulta, that's why I didn't buy the Fenty lipsticks or the new ABH lipsticks. Of course, I wanted to try the formula, but I knew in the back of my mind, whenever I was going to pick my shades, I noticed, um, girl, you're picking the same shades. You don't need <laughs> five of the same shade. I know, I know. And us true makeup lovers and enthusiasts, like, well, this one's a little bit warmer. This one's a little bit cooler. At the end of the day, by the time it's been on your lips for five hours, no one knows. No one cares. You don't need it, all right? And that was a message specifically for me and to whoever else needs it, all right, you guys? So those are what I feel the top three products that you do not need to buy during the Sephora sale just simply because you already have them. Now, of course, this is the perfect time for skincare, okay? I am definitely going to be indulging in the Sunday Riley Luna Oil because I purchased the little bottle last month. I'm almost out of it. Game changer for my skin. I am a firm believer as to why that's why my skin is looking the best it ever has is because I implemented that product and whoo baby girl she's expensive however when it comes to my skincare I'm gonna drop my cash okay so um skincare I'm gonna do the luna oil I need eye cream don't you hate it like I'm in a situation right now with my skincare where you run out of everything at the same time that hurts the pockets however it is what it is now of course if you just a hundred percent disagree with everything I said that is fine sis because you are entitled to your opinion because opinions are like buttholes and we all got them all right so down below in the comments let me know if this was helpful for you if you needed the reminder and then also you know I'm still nosy even if you don't agree with me that's totally fine I still want to know what you're purchasing but in regards to you telling me what you're purchasing tell me why Okay, tell me why. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. You know the deal, keep it simple.